two dozen military personnel from Germany arrived in the capital of Lithuania. They were personally accompanied by the commander-in-chief of the German army, Lieutenant General Alphonse Mais. According to the German press agency, about 150 soldiers will go to the Baltic state this year, and the official formation of the 45th Tank Brigade will be completed in 2025. Our decision to permanently station a brigade on NATO's eastern flank is unprecedented. We take responsibility and leadership in NATO. We show our Lithuanian partners and our allies that we are on their side. We support the alliance's promise of one for all and all for one with concrete actions. The military group, as reported by the commander-in-chief of the German army, consists exclusively of volunteers. There are military personnel from Sweden, Norway and also the Netherlands. This is the first time that German units have been permanently stationed outside Germany. This will be the largest service center for foreign citizens that the Bundeswehr has ever had. This is a very, very large project and of course we expect that the infrastructure as well as the training facilities for our soldiers will be available. They will be able to station them here because we want to deter a potential adversary here. And part of deterrence is that we are able to show and demonstrate our capabilities. The brigade which is stationed in Lithuania will be fully equipped by 2027. Its number will reach 5,000 people, that is 4,800 military personnel and 200 civilian specialists. Earlier, Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielis Landsbergis warned that Russia could suddenly attack NATO. The Baltic countries could be potential targets. German reliability is very important to us, for the entire region, as well as for our relations between Lithuania and Germany. I also want to say that 85% of Lithuanian society supports the military presence of German soldiers. We will do everything to make your soldiers feel at home in Lithuania. The Kremlin reacted nervously to the appearance of the Bundeswehr military in Lithuania. They immediately announced the alleged escalation of tension. Also, Putin's press secretary Peskov threatened some kind of retaliatory measures. If we really come to this, the point that there will be military operations on the NATO-Russia or NATO-Belarus border, then this will be a test for how serious this alliance is. Therefore, I think that ultimately this will not happen on Russia's part, since this could lead Russia to open a second front, which is probably not beneficial for it now. Let me remind you that the German defense minister previously stated that Berlin must realize the full danger of a potential military conflict with Russia, therefore Germany needs to arm itself. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.